we are out here at Windy Hollow. Hopefully we can have a good race night tonight and get into some fun. So we're out here at Windy Hollow tonight getting ready to make our first test passes of this race season. We just brought the Chevy out because we just got the motor and the transmission back for the Mustang today. So we're going to have a busy weekend with that, but wanted to go out here since finally it is not raining and to do some test passes on the Chevy. So we're pretty excited to have the trailer all put together and brought out here. Make sure that we have everything that we need. We probably have way more than we need, but we would much rather it be that way than not have it. So we will see how the night goes. Hopefully I can get some good clips and show you what the Chevy can do out here. We've done several passes on motor only, so Drew's putting the charge pipe on. Good catch from Jason. Um, we did not have a belt on it, so getting that on now. And we'll see what it does with the Pro Charger all ready to go. Not really sure what happened to the sound here, but Jason was nice enough to film on his phone my first pass in the Chevy. After Drew's last pass, he came back, took the charge pipe off, and told me to jump in the truck and told me everything I needed to know about doing the line lock and the trains brake. So here's my first pass.
last night was pretty awesome. Managed to drive the Chevy for the first time by myself. Drew disconnected the Pro Charger. And I made my first real pass down the drag strip. I've taken my Challenger down the drag strip before. I had a Mercedes a while back that would run about 860, I think. Um, but this was a completely different experience. First time using a trans brake, first time using a line lock, first time doing a legitimate burnout. I'm really proud of myself though. Managed to make it down the drag strip, do several full passes. Started out in the low eights, ended up in the high sevens by the time I was done for the night. Definitely a learning curve, but I'm getting better every single pass, which is how it should be. I uh, have to figure out the good length for a burnout. So working on that and then working on shifting so the Chevy doesn't have a shift light. So it was my first time trying to figure out when exactly to shift um, just by listening. So that was pretty interesting and fun. Um, I had a blast, but I feel pretty proud of myself. I think Drew was pretty happy with how good I did. So for now, I'm going to keep driving the Chevy and getting some passes and getting more seat time. And hopefully by the time that we have the Mustang back together and Drew gets the kinks worked out of it and Drew gets some passes in it as well to make sure that everything's safe and everything's going to work like it should, I will feel comfortable getting in the Mustang and making some passes and going a lot faster than high sevens. So all over I say last night was a success and I can't wait to do it again. So... Anyways, that's it for this video. Stick around and see what else crazy things I can get myself into.